Hi, this is Lance with Brand Open Salty, inventory software expert since 2006. Today, I am thrilled to have Seller Cloud show us a quick demo uh, overview. You can see the deep dive demo on another video, but Gary, our Sales Cloud um, contact and representative, is just going to show us the screens in Seller Cloud and the main features. Gary's going to take us through. Uh, sales order entry, sales order fulfillment, purchase order entry, purchase order fulfillment, and also show us their mobile WMS. Gary, show us Seller Cloud. All right. So when you first log into Seller Cloud, this is what you're going to see. You're going to get a beautiful dashboard to give you a quick snapshot of what's going on with the business, things like new orders that came in, shipped orders that went out. Um, we do break up Seller Cloud into these four main modules over here. So you'll be getting a catalog module. This is your PIM software, your product information management tool, where you'll be editing your product content, posting your listings, and changing your prices. Um, inventory, we're going to have an inventory, an IMS, and a WMS system right over here, where you'll be able to sync your inventory across all of your different marketplaces and go ahead and act as your fulfillment channel. We have orders, which is going to be your sales funnel. And this is where all of the orders are going to be come in. This is your OMS. This is where order routing is going to be taking place within all of the different warehouses that you're going to be managing within Seller Cloud. And then finally, we're going to be having a purchasing module. And this is going to be all about bringing in new inventory for you to be able to get it out the door for your orders. We do even have fantastic forecasting tools for purchasing and for restocking your different 3PLs. Now, jumping into the first module I like to mention and I like to show is our catalog module. And this is going to be where you're going to be maintaining all of the different product listings. And Seller Cloud starts out with these Seller Cloud SKUs where we're going to be housing your product information and your inventory information. The way Seller Cloud naturally works, nice and simple, is we're going to connect to your marketplaces. As orders come in, we're going to look at what marketplace the orders come in. We're going to be looking at the identifiers you have in your system. And then from there, we're going to be reserving the inventory for the orders and then updating the marketplaces with your new available quantity, which brings us over into our inventory management tool. And the beauty about our inventory management tool is Seller Cloud is going to be managing your inventory in two levels, on a quantity available level and a physical quantity quantity available so that your marketplaces know and you have a synced quantity for whatever you have available so you're not overselling and a physical quantity so that you can keep account of anything that's in the warehouse at any given point. Okay, let's take a look at sales order creation. Absolutely. So again, we're going to have a beautiful orders page that this is going to be your nice sales funnel. All the orders will be coming in. Orders are going to automatically be created from your marketplaces that are connected within Seller Cloud. We'll generate your order ID and generate and pull in these channel order IDs as well. Now for phone clients or for your wholesale clients, we do have the ability to generate orders in Seller Cloud on a one-on-one -on -one basis. We even give you a fantastic customer tool where you can build and have all of your customer data and information, including discounts you might be offering your wholesale customers. To build an order, it's nice and simple. Start with the customer information, select the warehouse and the company, then start adding the products. You can do this in bulk from a spreadsheet that your customer might send you with SKUs and quantities, or you can nice and simple add these products one-on-one. -on -one. It will show you from your product screen, your wholesale price, your retail price, and what available quantities you have at any given point. From there, we go into shipping. We're going to be adding in the shipping details, our customer information, and you'll even be able to go ahead and make sure the information for the address is correct by verifying the address prior to going into the billing screen. From there, we get into billing. You can select same as shipping to pull the prior information over. And then as soon as you click that checkered flag, you'll be able to jump in and proceed to pre, uh, pulling and processing a payment. Cool. The beauty about Seller Cloud is you do also have the ability for the clients that aren't ready to pay to generate invoices right in Seller Cloud to send to your clients. These invoices can be customized and you can even send and generate payment links for your clients as well.
order information can also be imported into Seller Cloud at any given point, not a problem. We're also going to give you a great tool for the picking, the packing, and the shipping for all of your orders, which you can set up and do a lot of automation within Seller Cloud through the use of these filters that you'll find in your manage pages. Create, save views. Have Seller Cloud pull up the product list that you want to go ahead and generate the pick lists for and automatically have those pick lists emailed to your warehouse managers to go ahead and give out to your warehouse workers. You have the ability to house warehouse images and location notes within your Seller Cloud account to be able to pull up and have these paper pick lists given to your warehouse workers. And let's take a look at the electronic pick tickets too. Absolutely. So the other thing that we're going to be offering is our mobile device. And this is SKU Stack. And in SKU Stack, this is going to be giving your warehouse workers the amazing ability to communicate directly with your Seller Cloud account. These also can be downloaded directly onto a cell phone. And instead of using a traditional scanner, you have the ability to use a phone camera as well. So what we're going to do is actually pull up this pick list right now, and you'll be able to see what the warehouse workers will be using when they have the mobile device. Here you'll be able to see the products, the warehouse images, the bin locations where they're going to be needing to pick the items from, what's been picked, and what is still required to pick. The beauty about these mobile pick lists as well is if the warehouse worker does or does not have the ability to finish picking at any given point throughout the day, they'll be able to come back to that pick list and see what's been done and what still needs to be picked. Now, obviously, once you sell all of the inventory and you get it out the door, the next step is to go ahead and receive new inventory in. And that's the beauty about Seller Cloud is we're going to be giving you a full purchasing module to be able to manage your purchase orders. You can even create a list of checks and balances through your employee access and, and permissions for approving and not approving these purchase orders that will go out to your vendors. Purchase orders, nice and simple, they can be created on a one-on-one -on -one basis, very similar to how we just generated our order. We select the vendor, we select a receiving warehouse, we start adding the products, which can be done one-on-one -on -one or can be added in bulk through a spreadsheet. And then from there, we find the address. Once the purchase order is generated, you have the ability to send those purchase orders out to any of your vendors that you have linked within Seller Cloud System. You can choose to receive purchase orders directly into Seller Cloud right through our Seller Cloud System. We also offer an included software called Receive Bridge that you would not have to pay for to be able to scan your products in right from a receiving computer. However, if you're going to be using our SKU Stack app, we do also have a fantastic tool to be able to receive in purchase orders, containers, and even RMAs and returns for your orders. We'll go ahead and receive this purchase order right now. And here you'll be able to see the capability of either using a scanner or a traditional cell phone. For the phones, you can also link up any other Bluetooth scanners. We've got a number of clients who use these finger scanners that you can find nice and cheap right on Amazon. Yeah. And then nice and simple, receive the purchase orders. Now, not only can you create purchase orders on a one-on-one -on -one basis, but we do also offer a number of forecasting tools to make purchasing simpler. Here we have a predictive purchasing tool that'll be able to go ahead and use your sales stats. So if I wanted to say, look back 60 days, so I can look forward 60 days to know what I need to order, I can simply do a search and Seller Cloud will go ahead and give me suggested quantities for what need to be ordered. From there, I do have the ability to edit any of these and I can simply generate these purchase orders. We do give you a number of filters as well in the predictive purchasing screen to make it easier for you to filter by vendor, by purchaser, by company for any number of different ways that you want to have these purchase orders automatically built. Nice.
The other nice thing about this is instead of just building a brand new purchase order, you do also have the ability to add these to brand new, uh, an existing purchase order if you decided to or needed to. And then through all this, you'll also be able to do any number of different automations in the settings. The Seller Cloud is a very, very configurable software. Any number of companies, any number of marketplaces, any number of warehouses underneath your corporate umbrella, Seller Cloud will be able to handle the order routing, the inventory routing, and the order management. Not just your own physical locations either, we do have the ability to house inventory for vendor warehouses for different 3PLs and fulfillment centers. And we even have the ability to have digital warehouses such as an interim warehouse to house your inventory as it's being transferred from your main default into the other fulfillment centers. Seller Cloud can also be split up from warehouses into regions and those regions into bins. Bins are a fantastic tool because you have the ability to set different sizes for those bins and unit capacities. So you know at any given point what you're able to receive into the warehouse so you're not over purchasing based on the space you have available in the warehouse. And then all of this flows into our reports where you'll be able to see things like your inventory aging reports, your unsold inventory reports for the first in, first out. Now, speaking of reports, some of the other ways that we're able to generate a lot of these reports is because of the connections that we have in the marketplaces. And on a point of sale level, we're able to pull in a lot of different things through the API. FBA is a very strong marketplace right now. And if you can see in the profit and loss, we're pulling in things like commission fees, transaction fees, and posting fees, if there are any. We're pulling in your shipping costs, the taxes and things like that, that they're also collecting, promotions and rebates, refunds and things like that. So when you are looking at your reports, you're able to actually generate an accurate profit and loss. Profit and loss ranges right here from the seller cloud. All of this information can also be easily set up through a scheduled task to be emailed to you at whatever frequency in an Excel file that you would like. And then obviously Seller Cloud has a number of other products that we have outside of our product suite that you'll be able to utilize to help make your business that much easier. SKU stacks, SKU blocks, or 4D scale. We offer included shipping software, our payment software, and we even have Bopis program for buy online, pick up and store. Image editing software, software to connect to your QuickBooks enterprise account, and as we mentioned, receiving software as well. Nice. All components of, of Seller Cloud. We try to be that one-stop shop for you guys. So if you have any questions, any concerns, or any issues with the software, instead of going to multiple different companies, all you have to do is give us one call. I think it would be noteworthy to go to your page and show all the integrations you guys have. Um, that was very impressive to me to see how many integrations did you say you had? Like 140, 150? So 120 plus, I think just on this page. But the beauty about Seller Cloud is we are also very willing to work with clients to get them on marketplaces that we might not integrate with. And that comes within our development team and the custom development that we are very willing to do for you to help tweak and customize Seller Cloud to fit your needs. That's a great thing to know because in my experience, uh, since I mentioned 2006, I've helped probably over 300 uh, companies implement inventory software. That's what we do here at Brando Consulting primarily is implementation. And it seems like um, the software uh, is 95% there, 99% there, right? And I always tell people when buying the software, always budget for a little bit of customization. And it brings me great comfort to know that you guys offer um, customization of your actual internal code and you will customize uh, for a specific account. They don't have to wait for um, their request to come through in the next release, right? You can actually say, well, for a charge, we can actually tweak this one little feature that is just overwhelmingly important to you, right? So I usually tell people, you know, budget an extra thousand or two for custom reports or, or custom software, you know, and that's, that should be something that you should think about when considering inventory software is not just the out of the box charge, but let's not get any surprises. There's probably going to be on average, this is the average that I see usually is it's about a thousand dollars extra for some sort of 
tweaking, right? Which I think is really reasonable. And I think it's great that you guys provide that. Reach out to us for a quote on Seller Cloud. We offer what we call inventory software selection services. Uh, so for a small fee, you can hire us to do an in-depth discovery interview of your company. We'll go to the 15 to 20 different inventory software programs that connect to QuickBooks for small companies, narrow down the list and help you decide which ones you should assess. Is Seller Cloud right for you? Is one of Seller Cloud's competitors right for you? Which one is right for you? Our goal is to assure that you get in the right software and also get a good quote on um, not only the purchase of the software and the licenses, but the implementation uh, of the software and the timeline, what to expect. We find that a lot of those of you who are new to inventory software, and this might be the first inventory software you purchase, we, we want to help you uh, plan and budget and get a reasonable expectation for, for cost and time to have a successful experience uh, with the software that you choose. Gary, thank you for showing us uh, Seller Cloud today. And I've been really impressed with what I've seen with Seller Cloud so far. I'm sure my recommendations will be very positive. You know, I my goal, as I say, is always to find the right fit. And I, I love to see uh, a software with robust features, a lot of features, and, and even some customizability that shows a lot of promise. Awesome. Well, Lance, thank you for having me. It was a pleasure being, being here today uh, and being able to show you guys the software.